Excuse me? A well-chosen sight. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Roquetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Roquetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Roquetta? Our missiles filled with black oh, powder shit. with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. But I am very fond of Roquetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. <laughs> I understand. Can't expect him to understand a genius. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. I love this guy. Good God. So, is the con all done? Here. Thank you for your help. Well, best of take care. Thanks. Jump it. Jump it. Man, I'm pretty good at that. Who do I give this to? Oh, sweet. Yeah, wake up. You. What do you need? Get back to work. May the Lord watch over you. How are you? This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? it stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent too. A drop in the evening, and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job. Damn. Bottom with the runs in the process. Gonna have all these guards not, suited. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs. Be geeking. True enough. But you're not much Probably grinding their teeth and shit. In the bushes. Oh, that was an achievement for doing all those optional quests. Goodbye. Greetings. But now that we got enough money to buy all the schnapps that we want, we can kind of save wherever we want. I came to an agreement with Comrade. He's already here. You wouldn't believe how clever that fellow is. Now we really will build that trebuchet. That I guarantee you. Any trebuchet fans in here? I gotta say. I do believe it is the superior siege weapon. Much better than a catapult. Just one thing. If he should send you somewhere and tell you to give some password about a fox or some such... Well, you should take it with a grain of salt. Gang, gang. Password? Fox? Uh, all right. I'll bear it in mind. Glad I could be of service. I'm truly grateful to you. All and right. the men will be too when the assault starts. Fine work. So we did literally you everything we needed to do, lives. so like... I probably shouldn't, but... Go and have a look in my trunk. You might find something there you can use. Thank you. Once we check, he got some junk in his trunk? Oh, look at that. That's a motherfucking trebuchet right there, if I'd ever seen one. Ooh, look at that. That's hot. Greetings. 
What do you think of... He definitely knows what he's doing. And all that wild talk of his. Rock... Do you think there's any... I've never seen such weapons used, so I can't really judge. But if his ideas worked, they'd change the way we make war. He showed me some of the drawings he has with him. I don't know if he's a genius or a madman. I mean, yeah, we really are, like, on in this time period, they really are on the cusp of, like... I think it's in, like, 50 years or something. You know, knight's armor becomes obsolete just because... You know, bullets. Let's see how strong those walls are. Let it rip! Oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh, dude, you, it would suck to be those guys, dude. <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's Let's perfect. fucking fuck that chicken in particular, am I right? I'd have the range in no time. Who do we got Move. here? Move! Damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish! Sir! They're coming. Oh, There's shit. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? Sigismund. There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Shit. Havel Medic is surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to sell. Oh. Dude, I want his armor. His armor's so sick. Yeah, now what do we do? I'm probably gonna have me go scout. Or now watch. They're gonna all these seasoned veterans are gonna Gentlemen, look at me and be like, "What do you think we should do?" Reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many, and they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. I feel that. <laughs> we will make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Townbrook. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talbrook. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. Man, my armor looking shiny. That's right, Henry. We're at war. Cold steel, my in the battle, hot blood. I wanted to go with the skullets, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander, but many of the men will be from Scalitz. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? Oh, man, he's giving me command? I mean you, Henry. That is... Sir, do you really think I'm someone the men could look up to? Henry, if it weren't for you, 
We wouldn't even be here today. And everyone knows that. Except you, it seems. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But, sir, I think I should... Quiet. Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scallops men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to retake. Okay. There we go. It's on. It's on. Oh my god, we're gonna siege. Not yet. Easy. Oh, that's a lot of men. Just a little longer. I have eight guys versus all them. Hold, hold. Damn it! They were expecting us. First troops to the bridge. Break through. Vanguard to the left. And the rest, come with me. We'll flank the bastards. At the charge! Ride those horses into the dirt. It's all glitched to fuck. Deciding what I who I attack. Sucks to be that last guy. Damn. Help, Sir Hanish. Am I out of combat for a second at least? At least I can heal up. Oh, 
that'll do. Oh, this is wild. I'm glad it didn't make me decide whenever we were going to move in. I would have done it wrong for sure. Is their leader? Oh, Eric. Boy, that's me. Boy, you should show a little more respect, Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric, Toth's captain and right-hand man. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Damn, you know they moved in. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Yep. Game saved? You know it's serious when it's game saved. Yeah. 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 I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of motherfucking intense. I don't even know what I'm about to walk into. I'm sure, nothing good. Come on. Oh, damn, Hans, you're looking fresh, boy. Lost some arrows into him. Yeah, that's right. Suck it. There's no way you're doing too hot, buddy. You got four arrows in your arm. There he is. That's a dead one. That's right, stay down. It's making sounds like I'm taking damage. Suck it. We 
saved the trebuchet, boys. Trebuchet gang gang. We in this. Oh, mace to the face. Yes, sir. Well, uh, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot. Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? So I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? Oh, I'm going to have to pick who they get. I just know it's going to make me fucking pick. Ranik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Cool. What do you mean, rest? We barely even got a scratch during that battle. How's the armor looking? A little bit beat up. Probably can... Yeah, nothing we can't dink out there. Oh yeah, dude. Look at us. Solid. Everything repaired just like that. I think food and energy is good. Yeah, we're still in the briefing. Wash up a little bit. Look good for the other nobleman. Start top. Do Greetings. What business have you? I won't betray my lord. God be with you. Hello, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boots on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you better think carefully about how you answer them. Who is this Toth? He's an orc, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. How did you meet him? He killed my parents. What? Toth killed your parents? You can never understand. They were weak. Ishtavan strong. He took better care of me than any father. Okay. What is he after? Are you really that clueless? to destroy Wenceslas's allies. You! How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning, but there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Find out. Oh, man! I can get all kinds of like rare achievements. That one was for uh, figuring out about his past. So always put points in speech. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle and we have you. So how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. 
You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why All should right. he save you? You gonna cry, little boy? He'll gonna sacrifice cry? you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. <laughs> for a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. That's right. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Why take Henry with you? It's gonna make me fucking choose, I know it. Who would you pick, Lady Stephanie or your father? Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our navally visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. Ooh, that's a face of concern. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective <laughs> guests home. Not a chance. We'll see. I do, do want to know, like... for a fucking fool? Oh, shit, one second. Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> They're unharmed, what a chair. as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Hmm. That still leaves us at an impasse. Surprised he didn't, like, bother trading one. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, He'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Yobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Yobst, you say? All right. Uh, Bruce, guys. What is he doing here? Who's Yobst? Yobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund in the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. 
Now he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Uh, I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, mm. I first think shot. you should have the honor of the first shot. I'll be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I oh, share your enthusiasm. Oh, fuck off. That's not what I meant. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do... I'm delighted to have the honor that you would think of me. That. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Take care. Jokey. They really make me walk all the way over here just to go back to the trebuchet. Yep. Sure enough. Sure did. Yeah. This is all pretty wild, though. Load the trebuchet! Anything else I need to know? Good health to you. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic, and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. Well, do I, I have trophies? Show me. Good work. Oh, I did. Cool. Goodbye. I'm honored that you should. May the Lord watch over you. Huh. So I gotta wait for this, huh? Then go on. How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. As I understand it, the base is quick to make, but the other parts are more I see. So do I, Henry. How's work going? Excellent. His knowledge of machinery and my... So you're confident the trebuchet... Absolutely. This is all stuff from earlier. Take care. Okay. Oh, he's loading it. But it's already loaded. This is kind of cool. I've never seen a trebuchet get loaded before. I'm sure this is accurate.
Yep, here we go. That was a hit. Oh. Divish said, Sir Divish. <clears throat> Sir Divish said, You tell me what happens next. I? We're going to watch Istran shitting himself. That's all? For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. All right, boys. It's on. I want to sit. Nasta dicek, nebož dicek, daj im pán Bůh nebesa. Požírali staré babi na trapáči. Since the divish's colors still aren't flying over Tarnburg, I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Istvan's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? If you need to rest, you won't have another chance until we've won the day. I'm ready. Yep. We're doing it. Glad to hear it. Wish me luck. We're going to attack on two fronts. The north gate and the west wall, which will scale with ladders. The attack will be split into different stages. Taking the outer walls, the inner bailey, and finally the core of the castle and the tower. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he can even hit it directly. Hmm. Even if that's true, we'll have to charge through a downpour of enemy arrows all the way to the portcullis. Portcullis? Fortunately, it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the bailey won't be easy. And what's the plan for attacking the west wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders. Which is no easy matter under fire, so we'll need as many men covering them as possible. As soon as the ladders are in place, our foot soldiers will run up and try to scale the wall. Once a few of them get to the battlements, we should quickly gain the upper hand. How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west wall, or our men at the gate will help. If they can break through, that is. And the inner bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through the gate and into the outer bailey, we're still a long way from victory. The castle is designed so we'll be like hens in a coop to anyone with a bow on the inner battlements. We'll have to either fight our way through or somehow get around them. Mm -hmm. What about the living quarters? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Istvan will know defeat is inevitable, but we'll still have to fight for each and every room. I think I've heard everything I need to know. All right. This is going to go bad. You want to join the attack on the walls uh. or on the gate. Remember, many of the Scalitz men will follow you. It could make a big difference. Don't. I'll help with the attack on the walls. Oh, he picked for me. I'm proud of you, Henry. You've changed from an insolent pup into a tough, reliable fighter. And as God is my witness, we will kick those whore sons' arses. Yeah, I was a nuisance an old to these people <laughs> in the beginning. Must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> if he's not shaking, then he doesn't know what he's got coming. Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, something always gets fucked up. Keep your eyes open and take advantage of every chance. Help Ain't your that comrades the truth. and don't go rushing in where you're outnumbered. We have to take the castle gradually, one position after another. Indeed, I'll remember quite. That. Good luck to you, stripling. Good luck to you, old soldier. I'll be with you. Oh shit. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's how you get it to come down. Fuck 
me. That was cool. I don't know why it says I failed that. I literally talked to him. Gotta scale the walls. Shield for fuck's sake! Cover yourselves! Show your faces. Popping out for a second. What are those guys doing? Damn. All my men are literally dead. Sword away. Nope. Just starting the battle. Bro, die. We're just stabbing him and. We're actually storming the castle now. I will not. chance I should have drank my potions that's right a little bit of teleporting going around because it doesn't know how, the targeting system doesn't know how to handle it Messing these boys up. So you didn't come here armored enough, boy. It's really loud. I can barely hear myself talking. Up. There 
ain't no way this guy's carrying all my attacks like that. Are you seeing this? There ain't no way this guy's a tank. This guy's like stats are that much higher than mine. Stay down. Get tag teamed. I wonder if if I stand here, it'll let me get out of combat for a second and let me eat food. Bernard, you're bugging. Right, we're about to do all kinds of shit right now. Should be able to do this. Oh, I am potioned out, son. I am roided out. Witness me. I actually don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, not here. I'm seeing green. I'm so like roided out right now. My guy's still stuck down here. I don't know if this is helping me or hurting me because I have so much shit in my system. Oh my god! Souped up out of like I'm so uh split him up. Sure, what I'm supposed to be doing, honestly. Hopefully, I'm hitting my guy, hitting their guys. I can't see the callers. counts oh 
There's one guy left. Are my arrows not hitting? because it's, it's caping. It's Hans, so you can't die. Oh, shot a horse. I'll just keep shooting to this pile, then. This is actually perfect. Here we go, guys. Cheesing the shit out of it. Not the most riveting, but uh, if I can cheese this and get through with it, we're doing it. That's one more. There's another one. Surely I'm in something. Surely I mean I did a good thing. Got scene activated. We took the Bailey. All right. That wasn't the most exciting, but. Here's the real test, though. He's up there with all the fucking hostages. Somebody's gonna. Somebody's dead. Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Istvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hanush. Istvan! It's over! It ain't easy being cheesy. He's gonna throw a head out or something. God damn, this is about to be so bad. You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. If your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own hearth. I'm in no hurry. I've plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom. Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, you're all noblemen here. All bound by honor. I give you my word as a knight and lord and that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie, what up, buddy? And Sir I'm glad you made it. You may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. You might want to fucking take it, bro. Just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honor that you will leave and never return. I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after that is up to you and the will of God Almighty. Very I'll well, take it, then. bro. I would take but it. But I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship. But Radzig comes with me. I'll release him in scullets. Out of the question. Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. Father! Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. If you're certain, Radzig. Prepare horses and supplies and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. Man. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. So, are you really going to let them go? 
My word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead because of him. What's to stop us from skewering him as soon as he sets foot outside? Our honour! If you let him go, he'll do the same again. Or worse, God's justice will find him. And then, he'll get a taste of my mace. If we break <laughs> our word of honour, we dude. have none. That guy fucks, and man. without honour, we are nothing. Never fear. Your father will be all right. We'll hunt down those vermin yet. Not good music. That's super not good music. Bring the horses. Here she is, as I promised. Not a hair on her head harmed. Divish. Oh, I'm glad she made it. I really thought I was gonna have to. I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm not assuming anything yet. For letting them into the castle. Come now, my dear. You're not to blame. I didn't know who he was. He said he was your friend. Never mind. Did he hurt you? No. I hope your word can be trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzik free in Scalitz. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. We won't. My Except apologies. Henry's probably gonna like run father, off, am I right? But you'll see each other soon enough. Oh. I almost forgot. Is he gonna give me the sword? Your sword? I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went to. Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep it. What a As fucking a prick. This isn't over. I'll find you. I look forward to it. Yeah! Quick! To the battlements! We have to see which way they go! Oh, they really yeah. are heading for Scalitz. It's true. Mount up, Henry. You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they release him? Something tells me it ain't gonna be as simple as like... Of course, I've been assuming a lot of shit and then it doesn't happen, so... What the fuck do I know? Yeah! Yeah, I'm so gonna quarter that motherfucker. What should I say to him? Don't worry, it'll come to you. You'll see. Well, I just hope he'll be there. Alive. Yeah, you find out he's your dad, and then he gets taken hostage. So you, know, you don't get any of your questions answered. You're like, uh, oh, okay, shit. What will you do now? Not long ago, I only made plans three days ahead at most. Maybe I really could do something for Rate and its people. Something really big. But there'll be plenty of time for that later. I forget there's a way to keep pace with them, but I'm not too worried about it. The way you found Tom, sneaking into Vranek all on your own, well, yeah. what I mean is, hats off to you, Hal. You wouldn't catch me doing that. Two days, I didn't think much about it. I just felt I had to do it. Wait, if I hold shift, is he just gonna keep pace with him? No. My horse is just faster than his. Uh, what do you think? Will Toth keep his word? He's a noble, right? Yes. So am I. Sir Radzik will be there. So I wanna see something here. Yeah. Wait, is my quest for vengeance not? Yeah, it's still there. Find Mark Bart von Owlitz. Yeah. What do you mean? How long have we known each other? A few weeks? Something like that. What? Before that, I was chasing wenches around Rate and you All this has happened in a few weeks. And now look at us. A pair of veterans. 
Uh, I was an yeah. apprentice blacksmith, not a turnip digger. Same <laughs> difference, you silly bugger! Actually, wild. Three weeks. There's no sign of them. Move on. It's fucking loud. Ishban kept his word, sir. Not half as glad as I am, your grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I would be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, your grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other. Let's go! How did that work out okay? All right, Father. I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, so I'll have to go back on foot. Well, there's a lot to talk about, am I right? It looks like it's all over. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. We catch that bastard. How could we let him go? Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? No, of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor? Honor? If the word of honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. And where's the honor in abandoning your son? Hmm. There it is. You know how it is. We were young. It happened. And I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. Well, he knew it. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. He took you as his own. And I always kept an eye on you. Of that you can be sure. I know so little about his past. He told you nothing. Oddly enough, even though you don't have his blood, you're very like him. When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. And I don't <laughs> think he cared much for it. That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. You know the rest. I loved him, but even so, uh, I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. It was in your blood, I suppose. <laughs> I lost the one thing I had left from him. Your sword. Ah, the sword. It's not my sword. It's yours. For a moment there, it was so near, yet so far. Oh, well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but just then I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance to get it back. This business with Toth is not yet over. Unfortunately. That's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan too. And then I'll find that German whore son who tort scallets and I'll slay him with it. I'll never forget his face. Or his name. Mark Vart von Aulitz. Those are noble intentions, son. But don't forget there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Look around you. Blue skies overhead, green grass underfoot, beautiful girls, good wine, 
A few good friends and a fine steed under your backside. Those are things worth living for. Now, I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. How's that? Two up. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> it's like I always imagined it would be. Teaching my boy to ride. Although it would be better if you were a little smaller. My word, it's all go today, isn't it? I wonder who this is. Oh, it's probably that. I think props. I know. Yobst. It's Margrave Yobst. The king's cousin. I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh. Careful. Oh, yeah, you're fine, buddy. Oh, is that it? Huh. Holy shit. I thought there was a little bit left. I hope this song isn't copyrighted. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till the end of the credits. Well, we did it. We beat the first game. I'm gonna let these credits run for a little bit. I'm gonna use the restroom. And uh, whenever it's over, I think we'll... Uh... Ooh. It's kind of fucking metal, isn't it? Is that Rammstein? Who does the credits music? be right back. Well, I hope that uh, Avenger doesn't mind that I'm that it plays in my video. Hey, I have been. Thank you. You came just in time. I just finished my first game on the wheel. That was a man that was a good game i really enjoyed that i'm glad we uh i'm glad you guys were with me i really enjoyed having the company i think uh oh man 
any guesses on what the next game's going to be? I know you guys don't have access to the list, but... That's good. I appreciate you checking into that sponge. <laughs> no, unfortunately, it's not on the list. I'll have to look into it, though. That's what I was kind of hoping, too. Just some, like, quick ones. Just some, like, uh quick digestible like maybe like fun games that are just like i don't know we'll see my luck i'm gonna get something that i'm gonna get another 100 hour game or something like that it's kind of crazy that this ended up being uh kind of nice that it just 10 set 10 streams total pretty even Granted, I didn't exactly do everything in the game. I, did, I by no means 100%ed it. But I definitely got my money's worth. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take me to end up making that review. It's going to happen, but... I have to write up a script. I have to edit all the video pieces together and stuff like that. I was thinking about doing shorts, like have the wheel spin and then like just do like a quick like go through like with the ratings on a scale of one to ten on different aspects of the game. I'll have to start writing up some stuff. Just like while I'm at work and stuff, I'll start like taking down notes. Let's, uh, we're getting close. I wanted to make sure there wasn't anything after the credits. There probably is though. Kingdom come deliverance. So sick. I knew it. I figured it was going to be something. Get Henry all nobled up, looking fresh. You doing well, oh. son? Oh. Father. Come now. You know who sired you. It doesn't matter now. The subtitles on the bottom make no or don't match. I miss you, Emma. I miss you very much. You'll be fine. We're proud of you. For what? I let you down. I, I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done to save us. And someone has to live and carry the torch. As for the sword, it's just a thing. You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. We did what was right. I have to leave you now. Oh, please. You know I can't stay. Mm -hmm. Will I ever see you again? God knows. Oh, there's a mama. 
Make you proud. were you dreaming about? I couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. It's having a the spiritual Lord's dream, my dude. Oh, there's still game. Right. I'll go straight away. Looks like I spoke too soon. Look at that shirt, bro. What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzik's son. Hobnobbing with lords and ladies. And here's me, as common as muck. Oh, give over, you idiot. Oh, that's right, he's the Why guard from the, the very beginning. You? Not really. You're as much a lord as I am a nun. And I've never looked good in a habit. Get out of here. Or I'll have you clapped in the stocks. <laughs> 